what is going on guys welcome back to the channel um welcome back to the build i haven't said that in a bit today i'm going to be putting curtains in the new topper for those of you who don't know i'll link it either here or here not sure which side it is i recently got a new topper which consequentially means that i'm kind of starting over with everything from the bed up i want to get a light put right here and uh, possibly on the sides and everything but today the main project is curtains I'm almost not used to a project going this well, but I did a lot of the measuring and all that kind of stuff on the last topper, so this this time around, I'm pretty much just lining stuff up to how I had it before, and just, just drilling. It's kind of nice. I will say too, shade helps with heat. It already feels like five degrees cooler in here. So if you are gonna live in a camper, during the summer especially, get curtains. And also, if you're gonna be marking on dark gray uh, carpet liner, get a silver Sharpie. Black works, but it's, it's not easy. God, so close. Almost done. So as I was drilling the hole, like the very, very last hole, I, I was even gonna say it, but I didn't, I didn't wanna jinx myself. The last bit is always where you mess up. So I started thinking, cause there's always like a brand on the side of a topper, like A-R-E or Jason or um, whatever, whatever brand it happens to be. I started thinking, it's around here somewhere. So I started thinking, kind of panicking, I was like, God, what if I drill, like what if I drill straight through that? And I want to I want to show you something. That's how close I got. <laughs> so this one is still kind of saggy a little bit, but that's fine. Uh, the other ones look good. I'm very happy. Uh, now I'm gonna put these on, and I'll explain what these are in a minute, but. Yeah, dude, we're getting close. Okay, so these are essentially just spacers. These pretty much just make it to where I can actually pull the curtains back and forth. So if, let me show you. If this rod 
were completely flush against the topper, the pressure from that would kind of make it more difficult where if there's space, it, it slides easier. But these are made from just some aluminum tubing. And I measured the curtain rod, which this curtain rod, I just, it was like the cheapest one I could find at Walmart. I didn't need anything super fancy. You really don't need something fancy. Basically cut them all to length. Uh, they were, they're all the same length. It's, it was kind of a, it's kind of arbitrary how long they are. Doesn't really matter too much as long as they're long enough to deal with the, the curtains being bunched up. But punched a hole through the end of it and then drilled out the rest of the hole. So this curtain rod has a small side and a bigger side. The small side slides into the big side and that's what makes it adjustable. I have four that are for the smaller side and eight that are for the bigger size. So the small size is going to be up here and the big size is going to be like in the middle and at the very, very back of the truck. On second thought, I think I'm going to wait until somebody gets home because it's way easier to do this with somebody on the outside actually putting pressure on the, on the bolt from the outside. So this is the way that is working for me. This is what I chose to do. Another way that you can do it is if you get just regular curtain rod holders and these screws, let me show you. So all toppers with windows are gonna have these kind of screws. So if you take one of those out and then put a regular uh, curtain rod holder in there, and you can put a few different ones to add stability, um, that should do pretty well. It's not gonna work as well as doing something like this, just because it'll, like, if you put a curtain rod holder here, it'll stick out and down a little bit, where here, I'm drilling it here, so it's you know sticking up maybe like two inches above the actual window. So this kind of thing is what I would recommend. But the other way, if you don't want to drill into the topper for whatever reason, another way would just be, like I said, just put curtain rod holders in these screws. Something else to consider too, if you're drilling holes in your topper, especially if you're going to a a wet state like North Carolina where it actually rains um, make sure to put silicone or something to keep water out I do recommend blackout curtains it's gonna help a lot with privacy and uh, if I have any light in here at night it's gonna help make it a little bit more stealth obviously some light is gonna seep through because you can see it's you know it's not exactly perfect but it's good enough this is going to help a lot with things like stealth camping. If I ever have to park in like a neighborhood or, um, you know, a parking lot or anything like that, it's going to be nice to be able to be a little bit more discreet. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below, or you can hit me up on Instagram. Um, I'll leave the link for that in the description too. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Hit that bell notification, just so you do get alerted anytime I do drop a video. I am... I want to say I'm back. I was kind of, if you watched the last video, you'll kind of know what I'm talking about, but I was kind of taking a break for a little bit and I might be speaking too soon, but I think my break is over. So um, hopefully I'll be getting back to my usual posting schedule of like once every other week. Um, I don't want to say anything yet, but I, I might be ramping that up as soon as I actually move into the truck, just because I'll be either dirt bagging or um, working part-time so I'll have more time to myself and more time to you know stuff like this or climbing or photography or things that I want this channel to be about but yeah like I said just hit that like button it really does help a lot subscribe to the channel it really helps a lot and I will see you guys in the next video